All right, guys, now let's talk about the vendors uh, that are in the DAS space. So three major vendors, Microsoft, VMware, and Citrix. Now, there are other players in that space that are smaller. Right now, you have Amazon Workspaces. Um, obviously, they're a big player, not as big in the DAS space right now. Then there's Red Hat and Oracle um, and a few others that have DAS solution. Three biggest that you need to remember that you're going to run into are uh, VMware, Citrix, and Microsoft. So let's talk about Microsoft, the 300-pound gorilla. Uh, so Microsoft got started, obviously, um, making a lot of their money in software. Then it moved to servers and Azure, and every, every server has a Microsoft operating system on it, right? Big bucks there. Then VMware came along and started to virtualize servers. And Microsoft said, hey, hold on. Um, how are we going to get a piece of this pie? So Microsoft got into the virtualization space. Um, so if we look at our, uh, if we look at our server, this is a physical server. Let's say it's a Dell, all right? And then on that server, we create a hypervisor. Microsoft's hypervisor is called Hyper-V, and this is what they use to make their virtual servers. So uh, in this drawing, Hyper-V makes a virtual server. And in that server, you use a DAS software to virtualize machines. What Microsoft uses is something traditionally called RDS. Used to be known as terminal services. Now they call it RDS. And uh, what RDS does is that it creates virtual machines. So the challenge with that is that RDS isn't really robust. It's not really made for the enterprise. Microsoft kind of gave up on it. Uh, they kind of quit on it uh, as VMware and Citrix just kind of ran away with the show. So uh, it's not very robust. There's not a lot of automation. It's not very useful for the end user. It doesn't have a lot of features. The tricky thing with RDS is that everything is built on top of RDS. Everything that is made by Citrix, who we're going to talk about here soon, VMware, they build all of their DAS software on top of RDS. And there are still some MSPs who will uh, run desktop as a service and use RDS. It's not very robust, it's hard to use, but many times the customer won't know the difference. So uh, it is still in use. Now more recently, Microsoft has started to move to, they have introduced Microsoft Virtual Desktop. And this is what they're using in Azure and what they're really starting to push with Windows 10. Very soon, it's anticipated uh, that you're going to be getting your Windows through Microsoft virtual, virtual Desktop. So your Windows will not rely on your laptop. It's going to lie in an Azure, um, in an Azure server over there, not on your desktop. And they're going to run that through Microsoft Virtual Desktop. So uh, look out for that here in the future. It's a very big play from Microsoft. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how how that, um, how that plays out here in the future.